Hello, welcome. This is what this microphone sounds like when in use on the outside. But let's start from the beginning. And of course, subscribe to support this channel. I got myself a new lapel microphone. Lavalier, also called. It's very simple and cheap. Do our best. Guvazla microphone from Sweden, made in China. Let's get in there. What I really liked about this offer is that it has a lot of adapters. Okay, actually it has only two. But this is the one that I really need. Because I want to record using a Zoom H1 or a Zoom H2N. And they don't support these connectors that have four sections or three separators. They only support the ones with two separators or three sections. So I hope this will work now. And I believe this one is specific for iOS devices. Wrong. It's specific to some Android devices. I will come back to it later. There are tiny instructions. It starts with, hello friend, how are you? And we got a replacement foam thingy. Windscreen. All right, let's just get started using this. Now, before I connect it to my Zoom devices, let's just try out and see what happens. What if I connect this directly to this camera? All right, so here we go. So let's try that. I see that the camera is still recording audio, but it's not using the microphone, I can tell, because I'm tapping it. So now let's try to use this adapter. Here we go. Okay, I can see the camera is recording, but it's still using internal speakers. This might be a feature of a camera that it cannot switch between audio sources. So let's forget about that. Instead, let's start with the H1. I can see the meter here. And now I'm just going to plug in the microphone directly. So it's still the four sections. Okay, test, 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 nothing. It doesn't work. On their YouTube channel, Zoom explains that these connectors do not work with their devices. So let's connect this to this adapter. Click and hope for the best. Test. It's working. Oh my goodness, it's actually working. What a joy. As you can see here, it came with this adapter. That's the reason why I bought it. It was super cheap, but it came with this adapter, which separately costs about 20% less. So I got the microphone and this adapter and this additional foam for 25% more. We're just gonna test this with this device as well. I'm just gonna shut down this recording. Wait, I don't think I've been recording so far. Oh boy. Well, let me turn this off. This time we're actually going to record. And we're going to test real quick. Does it work without the adapter? I guess I have to switch to X, X, Y. Test, 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 test. No. Nope. And with the, ad whoops, with the adapter, the microphone is still. With the adapter, it, whoa. With the adapter, it works wonderfully. So this is how it sounds when using the Lavalier or Lapel mic while plugging it in into a device that supports it. In this case, using an adapter that allows this support. It doesn't work using directly. So now we're testing how this performs with a smartphone. This is the default connector. This is still the microphone. It's on my shirt. And currently I'm recording using the phone. And the quality is miserable. This is a Galaxy S5N, I mean S5 Neo. Love that phone, but microphone quality is bad. So let's plug it in. And now, okay. It had to interrupt. Now we're continuing using the external microphone. And I believe the quality is fabulous now. I don't know, because I haven't listened to it yet. 
but if it, in case it is not, I will come back and record some more commentary. But this is probably miles better. Kilometers even. Alright, so now let's see what happens if we use this adapter. I'm guessing it will be a problem. I am guessing that I'm now recording using the internal speakers because this kind of connection should probably signal to the phone you are recording via internal and this is only a speaker or headphone connection. So let's not waste time on this. And now we're gonna test this other adapter, which I think switches two of these things which might be required for iOS devices. I'm not exactly sure. Oh, okay, so actually this says for Huawei or Motorola, mostly, mostly. For most of their devices you have to do this. So this will either destroy the recording or not have an effect. Let me plug it in. And let's record. So if it is still recording, I'm guessing this is still, still internal. It looks like it's still internal speakers. So that's it. I don't have a phone with which I can demonstrate this being useful. So now I'm recording. So now I'm on the streets in an urban setting, just testing how much uh, this actually picks up my voice rather than the noise, but it probably picks up everything. Also, I think the levels are really high right now. Look at the microphone, it's all red. Let me just uh, set this a bit lower. So 55, let's see. Yeah, it's not blinking red anymore. Ah, it is. Basically, this is my voice being recorded with the Zoom H1, uh, with the adapter. That's so, so handy adapter. And that's how it is. So I'm gonna switch to the smartphone in a second. Android smartphone without the adapter. Um, test. All right, so this is what this sounds like when I use my phone to record. I'm guessing there's not much of a quality difference. And uh, that's basically it. Cars are passing by. I really do wonder how it will how it will sound when I check it later. Don't even have my headphones with me. So let me listen to this and uh, give you my feedback. Make sure to subscribe to support this channel. What I noticed was that compared to the Handycam that was recording the phone, there was much less noise when using the lapel mic. Let's listen in. This is using the Handycam, the audio. And this is what this microphone sounds like when in use on the outside. But let's start from the beginning. And of course, subscribe to support this channel. And this is the audio of a lapel. And this is what this microphone sounds like when in use on the outside. But let's start from the beginning. And of course, subscribe to support this channel. There was also a difference whether I used the smartphone or the audio recorder to record, which you can hear in the next message. All right, so I hope this helped. Please subscribe to support this channel and I hope to see you next time. Until then, ciao. So I hope this was useful. Please subscribe to support this channel and I hope to see you next time. Until then, ciao.